These are the assembly instructions to my ballerina stage card. So my base layer consists of two pieces. One shorter piece, a score line at the top, and then a longer piece with a score line in the middle. I'm just going to put glue on that tab that's formed by folding that score line. And then I'm just gluing it to the bottom. And I'm just going to fold it over, make sure that it folds nicely. So my next piece is this long piece. I have a flap and that I'm folding upwards like so. And then I have this flap in the center. Fold the score lines on each side to begin with. Now these you want to valley fold. Fold it so that it looks like a V on both sides. You want to put your hand under and push this center piece with your left hand while you're holding down your base with your right hand like so. And then as you're doing that, you can pinch on this score line as well, keeping your base layer down, fold over that entire piece. And that's what creates your stage. I'm just reinforcing those score lines so that they're nice and crisp. Next, I have my three ballerinas. Now, I did this earlier because I needed a lot of time for my glue to dry. I've cut out my acetate shapes and then I've glued my ballerinas using art glitter glue for that. So, all three of them have been glued to their bases and I've folded up on the score line at the bottom and it creates a little triangle. You've got three of those. I'm going to put a little bit of red line tape. You could use double sided tape just on the little triangles below the score line. So I have this piece and I've just folded down on both score lines on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to insert this piece with the flaps downwards underneath. And then I'm going to turn my stage piece. And I want my score line for this tab to be even with the score lines on each side. There's a little tiny gap here and there's the same, approximately the same amount of gap on the other side as well. So I'm just making sure that everything is in line, nice and straight. And then I'm folding this flap on itself and putting glue all over it. I don't want to get glue anywhere else, just on that flap. I'm carefully folding it back, making sure that those score lines are still even like so. Now I have my card base and I'm going to position my little ballerinas. Here they are with a little bit of tape at the bottom. So I'm just sliding them into those little holes and then I'm going to turn my card base 90 degrees, make sure my little ballerinas are nice and straight. And I'm just going to lay this part of my card so that there's an even border, an even white border all the way around. I'm going to temporarily close that flap. And then I want all three of my ballerinas to be where they need to be. So the one that's really difficult on this one is the middle one, the tallest one. So with that piece laying flat, you want to make sure there's an even border all the way around and you want these two edges to be right up against that score line like so. So you have these two triangles jetting out just below the edge of this piece. Make sure everything is nicely in position. I'm taking the tape liner off my double sided tape and I'm putting glue on this piece just beneath the score line, no further. So just along there. And then I'm going to put glue all along the rest of this panel. I'm avoiding this rectangle here. You don't want to put any glue on that part, but just the rest. I'm making sure that everything is still nicely in position. And I'm closing my card. My front ballerina was good. My, my two side ballerinas decided they weren't sticky enough. Making sure that those two points stick. Like so. Now I'm putting glue all over the other half and then folding my card down again. Okay, so next I have a little band that goes below my stage. So I'm just gluing it on that vertical piece below the stage. And then I have my curtains. I'm just putting glue on the top of my curtain on the left hand side. And just on the bottom of my larger piece and then I'm just gluing them together at the corner. So I'm putting the piece right up against the score line and right up right against the edge. And I'm going to do that with the other side as well. 
So next I'm putting glue on that flap at the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my card base as my guide. And there's approximately the same amount of green on both sides. And I'm just going to piece. And I can flatten my piece like so. And just make sure that it's nicely adhered. And next I'm just putting glue on the bottom of both of those curtain pieces. I'm putting them over my card base, making sure they're nice and straight, and I'm adhering them to that piece in the center stage. Folding my card down, make sure everything folds nice and flatly, like so. Now I did have a top piece for my stage, and I omitted it. I forgot to glue it down, so your stage pieces, you can glue them down as soon as you've folded down all the score lines for your base piece, or you can do like me and just omitted. For my seat piece, there's all these, the chair backs all get folded upwards like so. So there's three rows and there's five seats per row. And there's also a score line at the back here and you want to fold upwards on that score line. So behind the last row of seats, you just want to fold that upwards on that score line. And then we have the actual seats. So I fold the first one upwards so it becomes a valley fold. And the next one downwards a mountain fold so that it looks like this and you're going to do that with all three rows of seats so you're folding down just like an accordion fold on all those score lines like so and then these little tabs at the bottom you're folding downwards on those and you're going to do that for all three rows so next i'm putting one of these sections of seats aside and then I'm gluing these tabs to the front of the two other sections of my chairs, putting a little bit of glue from the score line to the end of the tab. And then I'm gluing my piece down, and I want my piece down between the first score line and the second score line, and approximately center on my seat. Glue from the score line to the edge, and then gluing my piece down in the center of my seat on this band, so this this mid band, and I'm doing that for only two of my sections of seats. So now I'm taking my grid piece and I'm flipping it over and I'm putting glue all over the grid with the exception of any of those holes caused by the backs of my chairs. And I'm carefully slipping those two extensions underneath my stage pieces on the curtains. And then I'm making sure that there's approximately the same amount of green on both sides. That score line behind that back row of seats to be on the score line of my card. I'm going in with my bone folder to make sure that everything is nicely glued down. If you don't have a bone folder, you can use a ruler or something with a nice clean straight edge. Next time grabbing my row of chairs, it's the one that doesn't have the tabs at the front. And I want to glue that into the chair backs that are closest to the stage. I'm looking down at my card. Here is the stage. And I want to glue these down to the back. Just putting glue along the backs of my chair like so. And then I'm matching the sides and the tops of each of those seats to the sides and the top of my rectangles that are popped up. So my chair backs, I want them nice and flush at the top and flush at the edges as well. So just the backs are glued down. I flip my card around just so that you can see what I'm doing. Flipping these chairs as far back as they'll go. And then I'm pushing this piece down. So then I have these tabs at, my t at the top. And then I'm just putting glue just along those five tabs. The very last score line to the edge. And then I'm going to fold my piece under like so. So then when you pop them up, they look like this. So I'm just going to do that with the second row as well. I'm putting glue on the back of each of those chairs. I'm gluing them all to the top of the second row, folding at that line and then folding my piece back again. From the side, it looks like that. Glue, so from the score line to the edge of the tab, flipping my seats forward so that they lay flat. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing with my last layer of seats. So next I'm going to deal with all these little tabs. Put glue just right beyond that score line. 
fold your first row, so the row closest to the stage, flat. You tuck all of these under. You're flattening your second row on top of your first row. You're making sure that those little tabs are attaching themselves to the seat in front of them. And so then when you push these up, the next row goes with them. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the third row. So now that all my chairs are attached, I'm going to temporarily flatten my chairs again. So I've got each tab folded in half. So I'm putting glue on half and I'm gluing that half to the next chair about an eighth of an inch from that bottom score line. Okay, so now that I've glued down all of those tabs, I'm just slipping this piece underneath and I'm going to glue it to my base, leaving an even border all the way around. So next I'm gonna fold all of these back and put glue on the other half of those tabs. And then I'm folding the bottom forward and applying pressure over those half tabs. So when I open my card, all of those seats pop up. So next I have my sentiment. And this is where I've used these brand new Cricut pens, these opaque gel pens. I use the blue one, which permits me to write on this black cardstock. So I'm just gonna glue that into place. And so now I need to decorate the outside of my card. I have the panel at the front. I have my panel at the back. And I have a third panel. It goes at the bottom like so. For my top panel, I have my shaker element. I have my scalloped piece, then I have a black piece. I'm trying to leave an even border all the way around it. Piece of white craft board. And then I have several pieces of white craft board in that oval shape. So I've already glued this together because I wanted to have enough time for the glue to dry. So I did one layer of foil poster board. Then I did one layer of acetate. And then the other layer on the bottom is another layer of craft board. That's going to be the window to my little image. I have my ballerina. I've cut her out of vinyl. I'm gluing her down to the center of my oval. I'm using a very well used piece of transfer tape because I don't want it to rip my cardstock. I'm just transferring my ballerina. And then I'm taking my two remaining pieces of craft board and I'm gluing them together. And then they're going to be glued down to my oval. Match those edges so they're stacked up exactly on top of one another. So next I have a little bit of loose glitter. I spread it on my image, maybe a little bit more. I always end up putting too much. And then I'm taking away as much as I can from the perimeter. So I'm putting glue on that piece of craft board that's behind my piece of acetate. I'm just gluing this down. And then I'm gluing down the rest of my layers and then just gluing down my little image on top. And my last little detail is a little star that goes at the top. Centered as much as possible and as level as I can manage. And that's my ballerina stage card.